Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of uh, Neo Fly with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We're sitting here at 5 Romeo 4 where we started off in the last episode. And today we're going to talk about stacked missions. Now stacked missions is how you really turn a profit. There's basically two ways to do a stacked mission. Stacked mission is whenever you take more than one contract at a time. Now, you could take uh, a contract going to the same airport, and the easiest way to fly those, or find those, is to sort them by the flight plans, and you'll see that we have three possible flights here going to Zero Romeo One. Of course, combined, all those weights would be more than we'd be capable of carrying with the, with the weight of the pilot included. Now, if you was to select two airport, two two missions going to the same airport, you would uh, you would you would load up into the into the mission screen. You would you would put them in stacked missions. You would right click on one, go to stack mission, and click it, and it would put it in your flying tab. Then there's another way to do stack missions, and that's going to two different airports. Uh, at one time but you will fly to one and unload your cargo readjust your weight adjustments and then fly to the next one and oftentimes these seem to play more but that's what we're going to do today uh in the event that you were going to one airport you would just right click on this go to stack click stack mission pick another one say stack mission if you look over in our flying tab we've got two stack missions and then to fly those, we would right-click on one of them, either one. It wouldn't matter because they're going to the same airport. And we would say, fly this mission. And it would move it up to our mission. But for this episode, we're going to show another way of doing it. Now, you could take two different cargo loads because you won't always have two airports, two of the same airports in the mission here. You might have two, uh, you might have all different airports. So you want to kind of pick airports that are in your path here. Let's say we got two cargo missions here. And what we can do here is we can click on this and it'll take us to that. And it says they need 183 pounds of cargo. We can carry that. And we got another one right here. And it says they need 110 pounds of cargo. We can also carry that. We can carry both of these at one time in that direction. So, we can go back to flying and remove these because they haven't been started yet. It won't. It will not penalize us to remove them. And I could go here, click on that, left click, right click, and say stack mission. Then I could also right click here and tell it stack mission. All right. So now if we go to our flying tab, we've got both of these. If we click on them, it, it moves the flight path as you see. There's only six miles difference in the distance. Now there's, there might be more than six miles from here to here, but they're both pretty close together and they're both in the same general direction. So we'll be departing east no matter which way we go. But what I generally like to do is you go to the first one that you're gonna stop at not the last one this matters go to the first one you're going to stop at right click it and say fly this mission now what's happened here it's expecting us to go there first to that mission that we selected for stack mission but as you'll see in our mission weight it has the amount of both missions in the mission weight so we're flying with the cargo of both of these missions but we're only flying this mission once we get here we're going to unload our cargo and readjust our weights and then fly here and finish out the mission now when we fly here we'll get paid as if we were flying from here the original price of the contract so you're actually making a lot more money faster now the more aircraft that you get the bigger aircraft that you get that can carry more cargo you can fly the more than one airport 
You could make a circuit up through here if you needed to. If you had missions going all the way up through here on our short tip, our short haul missions. But for now, this is what we're going to do. The principle works no matter what. So we know we got to fly here, unload our cargo, get paid for that. Then we will go to the next flying one and start flying that mission. But I'm going to walk you to it. I'm going to go in, I'm going to set the aircraft up, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to take off. So we're on the runway. I have all the navigation uh, set in. Uh, we know where we're going. I'm going to go ahead. I've got the weight and balances worked out. You see here that uh, I've got us loaded up to 468 pounds. It's, it's like it's 463 is what I need, so I'm five pounds over, which is fine. Our engine's running, our parking brake's on. Everything's set up as it should be. We'll go ahead and kick, click connect and fly. Transporter from dispatch, good morning. The cargo mission will start as soon as you get in your aircraft and set the payload. Transporter from dispatch, loading cargo. Please stand by. Transporter, cargo is loaded. You can start your mission. Okay, so we've been grabbing the green light. We're ready to go. I'm gonna take off and fly us there. Flaps up. And we're on our way. I'll see you when we get there. All right, so we're on a direct approach to November Golf Sierra. We're coming in on final. What's gonna happen when we get up here is uh, we're gonna land, we're gonna hit the parking brake. We're gonna get unloaded adjust our weights and start the next mission now both of these let missions would have been coming to this airport we would have got paid for both missions got the experience from both missions also and the bonuses so keep that in mind transporter from dispatch nice landing go to the parking and put your parking brake on i'll be in touch Transport from dispatch. Okay, nice job. Someone is coming to take the cargo. I'll call you when it's done. Okay, so we landed at 57 feet, uh, vertical speed of seven, 57 feet per minute. We're getting unloaded. We don't got no security problems. It'll show up as an icon over here if there's a security problem. Transporter, another cargo mission completed. Thanks, and see you soon. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, we got paid. We're done with that. As you can see, we still got one left down here. So we'll go ahead and click on fly this mission. And it's calling for 110 pounds of mission weight. So we'll need uh, 280 pounds to fulfill the parameters that's needed for this. So we can go here. Let's 
set this back to uh, 280 pounds. Should be good. And then we can set connect and fly again. Oh. Transporter from dispatch. Good morning. The cargo mission will start as soon as you get in your aircraft and set the payload. Pilot from dispatch. The cargo door is open and the cargo is being transferred. Now the next stop isn't but eight miles away. Transporter, cargo is loaded. You can start your mission. All right, so we're free to go again. <clears throat> Now, what we can do here, we'll use our GPS, or we could just fly over there using our uh, Neopad, but go to flight plan, go to menu, remove the approach, okay, and then flight plan. Or we could just do a direct to uh, where are we going? We're going to Zulu 29er Foxtrot. That is a military base with the Zulu prefix. So we'll set this to. Now here's another deal with this NXI. I can go right here and click this and I can just type it with my keyboard. Zulu 2.9er Foxtrot. Click that again. Well, Enter and enter. And so now we've got a new track. All right. And I believe we can go ahead and set our approach for there. And we're just going to go ahead and go for, uh, uh, we'll do runway 07. Straight in approach. And go ahead and activate that. All right. So we'll come down here. We'll fly south, intercept the straight in approach, and fly right in. <coughs> I think that's how that works. Unless it wants us to go to 5R4 first. I think we have to go in and remove 5R4. Yes. Okay. Remake, make sure you do that. Make sure you remove the original departure or else you'll go down here and hit the straight forward departure fly back to the original departure and then back to the airport you were wanting to go to so I've had that happen to me a couple times about forgetting to remove the original departure this is your new departure we're just flying a direct GPS route alright so I'll taxi us into position and uh, get us taken off and see you when we get there
transporter from dispatch. Nice landing. Go to the parking and put your parking brake on. I'll be in touch. Stand by, pilot. Cargo unloading. All right, so we're getting unloaded. Made it to our final destination. We'll get unloaded, we'll get paid, and we've completed a stack mission. That's all there is to it. You know, this is it's the same process uh, over and over. Uh, like I said, you can either go to one to airport or you can make you a, a series of airports that you stop at. As your planes get bigger, you start carrying three and four thousand pounds of cargo, you're going to make several stops along the way, depending on you know the size of your missions. You actually want to try to do stack missions more than you do uh, single missions because, like I said, you get twice the experience. Some, and I think if I'd have had three or four missions right here in this little area that I could have carried all the cargo, I'm just flying just a little bit ways further just to get just as much experience as I got from the original airport. So think about that. That These little things like this is what helps you gain your rank faster and get the cooler faster aircraft uh, as a matter of fact we could buy the g36 right now if we wanted to and it is significantly faster than the cessna and uh, it also has a higher carrying capacity so that's what we're going to cover in our next tutorial is we're going to talk about buying another aircraft and borrowing money from the bank so thanks for tuning in i appreciate you guys watching and I'll Transporter see you next episode. The cargo was picked up by the customer. Your mission is completed.